So we'll play this part. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in Pentatonic Parallel Part 11 beats. In today's episode, we set out with the evocative question, how do we represent shadow and foreground in percussion and beat? And we reflected a bit on, on that. So we did some experimenting with um, our drum bit program, which we have used in the past. And what we ended up with is what we called a light scale, which is the rack tom up here, a dark scale, the floor. Then when we put them together, we just give that the snare. And then we have something that includes uh, notes that are used in none of those. So we ended up calling this the, uh, the uncommon. And so we did 60 beats per minute and we came up with this interesting offbeat pattern. So we then put it here in MuseScore. And then we said, well, let's put some cadences to it. So we went to our cadence reference area. We also updated our cadence reference area. We realized we could actually assign some chord function label. So the, the only bright chord we've got is this D flat four one. So he said, we're going to call that a tail five. And when you have an urge note plus a quote unquote root note, that's ambivalent. So ambivalent. And then here we kind of added further labels and said, well, this, uh, this has a C, which is a root and it has a, a G and an A. And, and none of those, uh, G is a, a mode and, and an A is, uh, has no function, so that's a tonic. So we went through each of these and, and gave them a label. And we started calling them uh, shadow common chords and bright chords and shadow full chords and so forth. So we went ahead and added uh, three cadences here. Uh, cadence 01, which is a rest, rest, rest and then we added cadence 02 which is urge 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 and then we did our usual you know bring it home urge rest rest so this is what we've come up with today we've managed to come up with a kind of a percussion part that has elements of the shadow projection idea in it and put it together with our bright and our shadow cadences here's here what it sounds like So that is what we got accomplished today, and it's kind of pleasing, we think. We have a beats composition. We use light, dark, shadow, and uncommon drum parts, which are played by the rack, floor toms, snare, and kick. And we use some shadow and bright cadences. So some ideas for next steps are maybe do a visualization of this and also uh, add uh, arpeggio and a backbone. We could certainly add more lines here besides that. So. Thank you for your time and attention, curiosity and interest. Look forward to seeing you in the next stream. And as always, keep on streaming.